I also watch SmackDown and I see, you know, really bad stuff on my television screen. Oh, you gonna tell me you don't like Bray White stuff. having a feud with himself? With with looking like Sweet huh? Hansen? Uh, no, actually, really? I don't. It's not really. Yeah, did you hear Observer right Radio last night? <laughs> did you no. hear Observer Radio? What? When I talked about how stupid it is a guy's feud with himself. How I went back in history and I said, you know how many times I've seen a guy feud with himself in WWE? Well, let's see. I, I saw The Undertaker feud with himself. It sucked. What, is, what does that have to do with so nothing's changed? No, so no some because I'm pointing, out, I'm pointing out that it's, good. it's stupid. Some things are not Because I'm honest. It's stupid. Bray White feeding with himself is dumb. How did you make this about you? I always make everything about me. But you know what it's, wouldn't be dumb? If it turns out that Bray isn't show? feuding with himself and it turns out that Uncle Howdy... It's Bo Dallas. Oh, yeah, that would be great. Bro, hey, listen. <laughs> Uncle Howdy being Bo Dallas is going to be a lot better than Uncle Howdy being Bray Wyatt. Because if you think I want to see a, a cinematic match <laughs> where Bray that? Wyatt is wrestling himself, think again. Who said that Bray Wyatt is Uncle Howdy? This is what people just have jumped to. Fantasy Did you watch the video? Yes, I watched the He was video. Uncle Howdy. That was Bray Wyatt. So who else would it? Have? It was him. I don't know who it's going to be in the end, but that was Bray White under a mask playing Uncle Howdy. Uncle Howdy. <laughs> yeah. Oh if Bo God. Dallas is Uncle Howdy uh, and Bray White is Bray White, you know, then then we got something here. Why can't JoJo come back? Maybe Why she will we come back, JoJo dude. Back? She may come back as uh, the witch. No, just come back as JoJo. Please. Now, see, I'm a fair man. And I'm telling you that the idea of Bray Wyatt feeding himself is a dumb idea. If that's what they do. Okay? <laughs> no kidding. Don't swear on the air, Mike. No kidding. Are we really going to drag it down to that level? But you know what was great on that show? What's that? It was Roman Reigns. Yes. Jey Uso. Yes. Sami Zayn. Yes. They had this segment. Solo. And you know what's so funny about this, too, that I can't... I mean, it was all funny, but... This was not the first time that Sammy has dropped the line that Jay is not being very oozy. <laughs> like, this is not something that came out of nowhere. Like, he said it before. But for some reason, when he explained on this show that Jay just was not being himself when he said he didn't care what Roman Reigns thought... And Roman's about to kill this guy. And Sammy steps in and he says, he's just not, he's just not himself lately, Roman. He's just not being very oozy. And something, I don't know if it was his delivery. I think part of it's his face because his beard and his mustache is so preposterous. And then he's got those eyes that uh, Roman just lost it. And he starts laughing. And then... Jey Uso is supposed to be stone-faced and angry, and he's actually doing all right, but then he looks at Roman, and he just, he totally lost it, to the point that he had to cover his face and turn away from the hard cam. He's laughing so hard, and the fans are laughing, and Jimmy Uso is laughing. I need a report from somebody in the building, because they never showed Solo Sokoa. They didn't show one shot of that guy. And I want to know if he was able to keep a straight face the entire time. No, because nobody was, else could. <laughs> that's why he didn't put the camera back on him. Have you ever seen Sammy and Solo? At some point, Solo will have a big laugh or will have a big, I shouldn't say laugh, but will have a huge smile on his face that he will kind of like try to wave off and, you know, kind of try to get his his toughness back. But that's what Sammy Zayn does. And at this point, there's just some times where, it's like a trigger. He's going to say something that may not be all that funny, but because you know this guy, it's going to be funny. And puts the hand on the shoulder, and he's just not being very oozy. And just lost it, and everybody lost it. And that seems to be every single week, no matter what happens, somebody is getting broken up by Sami Zayn, and it's not obnoxious. It's not beaten into the ground. It just is something that it naturally at some point happens as a part of the interaction with everybody, and it's the best thing in all of professional wrestling by leaps and bounds, that whole group together. And the storyline is that Jay hates Sammy. Sammy, he doesn't want Jay to hate him. He wants him to be his friend. 
And everybody in the bloodline except Jay likes Sammy. Jay's claim is they actually all hate you. I'm the only guy that has the guts to tell you this to your face. And uh, and Roman has essentially told Jay, you either get on the same page with this guy or he will no longer be an honorary ooze. He will be a full-fledged ooze, and we'll change his name to Sammy Uso. <laughs> and so now Jay's like, oh, my God. And I like it because it's one of those storylines where, and Sammy actually said this in an interview, where is this going? Is, is, uh, is the bloodline going to end up turning on Jay, and he goes babyface and eventually faces Roman? Is the entire bloodline going to screw Sami Zayn? Which, in, in fact, is what I expect to happen, so that him and Kevin Owens can win the tag titles from the Usos. I mean, is is this all... Hey, what is this? But everybody's performance is superlative in this angle. And the fans love it. It's the most over thing on the show by far. Man, when they open the show and, and you know, everyone's in the back, except Roman's not there, and they're talking about how Roman's not there and... Uh, you know, we got to go out there and win because when he shows up, he's going to want a good report. And then they continue the storyline where, you know, Sammy's trying to to uh, bait, you know, whoever it was from coming off the top. But Jay doesn't understand. He's trying to bait him, so he pulls him out of the ring, and they get in an argument, and then Sammy ends up getting pinned. And then the match is over, and they're all in the ring, and Sammy and Jay are screaming at each other, and Jimmy's trying to, to get him apart. And all of a sudden, they hit Roman's music, and these fans went nuts. And everybody in the ring had that face like, oh, my God, Daddy got home in the middle of the party, and we're screwed. And Sammy even dropped a profanity on national television. And then he came out, and this was great. It was awesome. And then the rest of the show was, uh, it was the rest of the show. There was some, there was some stuff on it. You know what I'm saying? Wasn't all that good, was it? I don't know. I got to go through it here. Well, you don't remember? Oh, yeah, the Brawling Brutes match. That was pretty good. And the Roman Reigns thing was great. New Day and Maximum Male Models, pointless. Maximum Male Models, they're done. The debut of Emma versus Ronda Rousey. Not a very good match. But I I heard some people saying this was worse than that Lash Legend match on Tuesday. No. Brother, give me a break. Not even in the universe. Mm -mm. And uh, I guess Emma's a regular on SmackDown, so we'll see how she does going forward. Hit Row beating Legato Del Fantasma, so they got their, their win back there. God. Oh, uh, Top Dollar doing Lucha. <laughs> Top Dollar doing Lucha with Santos Escobar was, was <laughs> worth my six minutes. Top peso. God, he does. They do the thing where they, they lock hands, and then usually the little guy runs up the ropes and does the dive into the springboard. So they lock hands, and Top Dollar sprints up to the top rope, but he starts standing on the top rope. And then he just stands up tall. Then he's so tall that poor Legato's like <laughs> on his tiptoes. And man, the look on on Phantasma's face as he's looking up at this guy, like, this guy just ran up the ropes. I'm disgusted. I was entertained. Karrion Cross needs work. And then uh, Uncle Howdy showed up. I totally forgot this story until just now. And it happened when I was a kid. And so I think there's a decent chance that it could have been like a dream. Yes. And so, like, I was chopping the tree, and uh, I just remember looking up, and all of a sudden, like, this was a weird thing. I remember I looked up, and there were Ewoks in the tree. That was definitely a dream. And I saw it coming down, <laughs> and all of a sudden, I was like, I woke up later. This is the weird thing he says. Yeah. It is. Well, it is weird. weird about it. It is weird. There were Ewoks in the tree. Yeah. That's weird. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.